Hey guys, welcome back to Jenny and Tati. I haven't made a video in that long. I probably it probably didn't seem that long, but it's officially my seventh day here, I think. I came no no like like a seventh day of classes yeah not cause I came here on the 22nd so I've been here for a while now but this is my seventh day of classes now and I wanted to give you guys like basically a one week update of like how college life is going for me you know I need to find like a good place to set up my phone I have no you um no materials here I said materials like I had no ring light no tripod none of that so I need to try to find like a good place to stand my phone so i can get a good video good views for y'all you see the lighting over there was way better i need to stay over here Let's see if i can get a good angle nah this way oh wait wait Is this good? I think this is good. Is this good? Y'all okay with this? Okay, you guys, you just gonna have to deal with this because this is all I have. I'm broke. I'm a college student. <laughs> but anyway, so it's first week of college. <laughs> classes are nothing. Like, I'll just go, go through like category by category. Classes, they're basically nothing for the first week because we're just doing syllabus and like basically going through what the class would be about and what we're gonna what we expect to learn and what they expect of uh, they expect us to get from the class hold on one second what they expect us to get from the class and and all that good stuff so, but that that doesn't mean don't go to class on the first week because you still get assignments i already had a quiz i already had two quizzes so far but it's basically like syllabus quizzes it was simple stuff basically talking about the things that they told us in class so that's how my teachers I don't have bad teachers. I just have like two. No, not two. I have one lecturer teacher, which is my history teacher. He goes on. He's funny though. But he just goes on and on and on. I'd be falling asleep in that class. It's so sad. But he also puts the, the slides up on Blackboard. So I can always look back at it just in case I miss something. But he does say a lot of good information while he's lecturing. So I try to record the class while I'm asleep. <laughs> it's so sad. It's so sad. But yeah. Um, what else? Making friends. That's been terrible for me. Like, very, very bad for me. Literally, I have. Well, like, I probably talk to, like, two people. But it's been hard. I don't know why. Girls are just so difficult. Like, we can't just be like, hey, you're cute. You're pretty. Want to be friends? They're like, no. It has to be like a. Uh. She go where? Why her hair look like that? Why her nails like that? It's like always something. So, it's been hard for me to make friends that are females. I haven't made, but then again, I haven't made any male friends either. So, it's been hard for me to make friends in general because I'm like an introvert. I like to stay inside. I like things to be very organized and set. I don't like to do things out of the ordinary, which is bad. But I might step out of my comfort zone a little bit for college, but it might not happen anytime soon. But I'm slowly but surely trying to talk to people more. You know, be more social and friendly. I'm not mean. I'm not mean at all. I'm just shy. Sometimes. I'm shy till I get comfortable with you, you know? A lot of people are like that, though. So, yeah, that's how the friend department's going for me. Hopefully, someone watching this goes to Buffalo State and want to be my friend. Just comment down below if you go to Buffalo and want to be my friend. <laughs> that sounds so sad and desperate. But, yeah. Um, what else? Well, since you guys already know I'm going to Buffalo State, I decided, like, whatever, I'll just tell you guys. <laughs> it's not like, yeah, I care anyway. No one's going to come find me, right? Right? And I'm pretty sure you guys seen already from my, um, my bracelet, not my necklace. And if you follow me on Instagram, follow me on Instagram, at Tati Matelli. Don't forget. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure you guys seen from there that I go to Buffalo State. But here, I don't know. Like, on the website, it says that it's predominantly Caucasian people. But I see, like, a lot, a lot of black people. I feel like maybe, like, the other um, races, they commute here. 
and everyone else um lives on campus which i feel i feel good about that because i feel comfortable like i don't i didn't want to go to a school where i don't see anyone that looks like me there's nothing wrong with caucasian people at all but i don't want to i don't want to be surrounded by only them and i just feel like uncomfortable because i don't see anyone that looks like me you know because everyone always looks at me weird like in most of my classes because i'm in the honors program there's like a lot of um people that don't look like me and they all look at me like so weirdly and i just feel so uncomfortable being like the only black girl in the class i'm over here coming in with these long old nails these box braids these falling off lashes they were better before they were better before these falling off lashes and everyone's just looking at me like it's like just makes me not want to talk <laughs> but yeah so the, I, the people here everyone's cool they there hasn't been any drama that I heard of, but I think I'm pretty sure there is somewhere going on, some drama going on somewhere. But everyone's been like all in the school spirit, you know, parties every single weekend. I haven't went to a party yet either. I want to go to a party though, but I'm just scared. I'm scared because I don't have much friends to go with. So I'm scared because who goes to a party by themselves? That's like really weird. So, um, I don't know like what to expect. Like I know like parties here, not here, but parties back at home. You know, my cousins will, like, have it. It would be, like, family functions. It would be fun. Or, like, let's say it would be, like, my friend's party. It would just be everyone I know here at a college party. There's people from, like, other schools that come. People from off campus. Like, it's, like, so many different people. And this college, this campus is huge. Like, every day I see someone new, see new people. So, um, I don't know who I'm going to be with. And then, you know, you get into all the drinking and the drug stuff, you know. You don't know what people put in anything or what people are doing. So it's crazy. But what else is another update? I've been on top of all my homework, which is good because I barely have any anyway. But every time I get an assignment, I just do it. I want to keep keep it up. I know it's probably going to be hard to keep that um, habit up of doing your homework right when it's assigned. Cause I know life happens. You get busy. And like other classes probably give you things that take longer to complete. So you might not be able to do a, do anything. But... I haven't been far behind. Everything I'm learning is pretty, pretty simple. Oh, maybe I could tell you guys like what um classes I have. Or oh, oh um I'm a mathematics education major, so I want to be a math teacher. If anybody didn't know or wanted to know, and so far the classes I have, I have um college writing. It's, it's college writing. That's what it is. Um, I have math. I'm pay I'm taking pre calc right now because I didn't have pre calc in high school, which I'm so angry about because I'm it put me behind. Like, cause every other mathematic major, every every other mathematics major is taking calculus right now, but I have to take pre-calc cause I don't have that um knowledge. But it's not that bad, cause right now, we're doing um, like easy stuff. I feel like I could have went to calculus, but I didn't want to like jump to calculus and then like, we have like a really hard time and end up failing the class because I like jumped to it instead of pre taking the pre pre course first. So I still took pre-calculus just cause I just I don't want to um overwhelm myself so i have cal pre-calculus i have history but it's specifically western civilization so we're talking about mesopotamia egypt we're talking about the western side that's the class where that guy be lecturing i have this on like for honest kids you have to take two honors classes or honors courses and my two honors courses are um the is it the college writing one of them confused I'm, I'm so lost i need to see my schedule but i record on my phone i'm confused i know i know um one of them is like this natural world thing it's like some weird name but basically it's geography i'm learning about latitude and longitude it's so easy but i'm i'm not gonna, i'm not complaining about the easy stuff right now because that's good i don't want no stress right now any like like crazy courses that i don't understand so i'm happy that everything's like i'm familiar with like today we're talking about the summer solstice and the winter solstice i've been learning that since earth science i'm like yes this is good this is all review for me so i just feel like you know real confident about everything because I, I learned it already what else what, oh that's the other class i took for honors sociology that class is cool like the sociology in general is a cool um it is subject cool topic I, cool i don't know what do you, what do you call that a cool it's cool that thing i don't know what you call sociology that 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 career that profession a sociologist that's cool like you know basically studying how humans interact with each other but the teacher i have like he's he's a lecturer too 
but like what he, when he goes on to all those stories like he's funny and stuff but some of the things i just don't get because like i'm not that old <laughs> I'm not saying like he's older like he like makes references to, like old tv shows but i don't really know but like, he's cool i like him i like the class everything the, that's the class i had a quiz for already but i got 100 on that because you know your girl be listening you know, I'll be falling asleep in that class, too. I don't know. It's like, I don't even be tired. But then once I get into that class, I just start doing that that thing, you know, when you be like, and you catch yourself, and you just have to wake up. I be doing that, I'm like, oh, my God, I did not hear anything he said within those last, I'm like, how long was I sleeping? But, yeah, I try, I'm trying to go take naps after class so that I, I could be fully awake for the next class. But every time I get to my room, I just have a boost of energy. Like, I feel, I'm not tired. Like, right now, I'm sitting on my bed and everything. I'm not tired. I don't know why. It's like once I get into the room, you would think seeing your bed, you'll go to sleep. But no, I can't. It's like it's impossible for me to go to sleep in my room, which is so weird. Unless it's nighttime. At night, nah. But any other time, I cannot take an after school nap, after class nap. What other class do I have? Then I have, I have an intro to honors class, which is basically like we do community service. Like we... We do have um, assignments to do in that class too. Like we have those two big books. I don't know if I showed you that. And I don't know if you guys remember from my last video, those two books, I have to read those for that class. I'm going to have like one assignment on those, on either one of those books. But other than that, like that class is basically for um, volunteering and basically introducing us into the honors program and making us be more involved with the campus stuff. Um, What else? What else? I can't remember what class it is. Oh, wait. I think that is all my classes. What did, I, what did I have today? I had history and natural science. Yeah, I, think that, that, I think that is all my classes. I don't think I'm missing anything. I have a total of six classes. If I said six classes, then I said everything. If I didn't, then I'm missing one. Well, I think that's everything so far. But other than that, I'm not, I don't hate it here. I don't love it, though. But I don't hate it. I'm starving right now. I'm about to go to the cafeteria area and get some grub but um yeah i don't hate it here i don't love it yet maybe i'll love it later when i get more oriented with the campus and like make more friends and like actually do fun stuff instead of sitting in my room i don't even watch netflix i just be in here just like doing random stuff like just redoing my edges doing random stuff like doing like i keep like doing extra stuff to my board i just be drawing on my dry erase board i don't even be doing nothing serious but yeah, I just want to find out who does hair and nails and stuff like that on campus because I don't know what I'm going to do when all these nails fall off and my hair gets old because there's no, well, I'm pretty sure you could go to the hair salon, but I don't know anything in Buffalo. Like, I don't know who does hair or nothing like that. So that's going to be a mission to find out. I think that's all for this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. Um, let me know if you want to see any more college videos um hopefully that's all i don't think i forgot anything in this update but i think i'll turn back on the camera if i forgot something